If you have a Samsung or a Huawei, you might have heard of something called Samsung DeX or desktop mode. This allows you to use your phone like a PC when it's connected to a TV or an external monitor. It's a very useful feature, however it's not very well known. So today, I'm going to show you how to use it. First off, you're going to need two pieces of relatively cheap kit. A HDMI cable, which you may already have, and this USB hub for your phone. The front part plugs into your phone. On the side, there are three USB ports and a Type-C port. Finally, at the back, you've got your HDMI port. I'd recommend plugging in your charger since desktop mode rapidly drains battery. Let's begin. First, connect the hub to your phone, then connect any keyboards or mice, hook up the HDMI, and now swipe down on your notifications and select desktop mode. Now, you should plug in your charger. If you plug in your charger before plugging in your keyboard or mouse, your phone fails to recognize the devices. Although I've only noticed this with Huawei's, so it may work differently with Samsung's, but the steps are still the same. Let's go to the desktop. So we've got quite a similar look to a typical Windows desktop. Here's a quick tour. Starting at this end, we've got our navigational buttons, the same ones you'd see at the bottom of your phone. Then we've got the clock, which opens up the calendar if you click it. Next to that is your status bar. Clicking this will show you your notifications. Over here, you've got a button to select which device the sound comes from. And finally, we have this little button which opens up your notepad, so you can doodle using either the mouse or your phone screen. A thoughtful feature, but quite frustrating to use. Over at this end, you'll find all your apps arranged into a nice little start menu, and you can add or remove apps from the taskbar here. Most apps work pretty well in this mode. YouTube can be a bit hard to navigate at first, but you'll eventually get the hang of it. Other Google apps work very well. Chrome adjusts quite smoothly. I'd recommend using it on full screen mode to get the best experience. Google Docs feels right at home too. Emails, I'd say, are even better than the web version. And here comes the cherry on top. Okay, here's your Spotify playlist called Retro.
The rest is pretty standard and I'm going to leave it to you guys to play around. If you have any further questions or need any help, give me a shout in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe and keep learning with us. I'll see you later.